Hello and welcome to Eastern Roman History. Assigned as Strategos of Armeniacon Strategia, Artabastos became the son-in-law of Leo III by marrying his daughter Anna in 715, allying him with Leo the Isaurian and helped put Leo on the throne. As Emperor, in 719 Leo III made Artabastos Count of the Obsikion Strategia and was granted the title of Kurapalites, a high military position at court for those outside of the imperial family. Effectively, he was Leo III's right-hand man, and his closest ally perfectly positioned to protect Leo if a revolt like Anastasius II's ever occurred again. Notably, in 727, it was Artabastos that led the army that relieved Nicaea while under siege by the Arabs. In 741, Constantine V became senior emperor with the death of his father Leo III. The succession itself was very smooth. It was the first peaceful succession of a Roman ruler in decades. A succession without a hint of violence involved had not occurred since the succession of Constantine III, the son of Heraclius, exactly a century earlier. However, this apparent stability was illusory. Constantine started his reign by preparing a campaign against the Arabs. Constantine arranged to meet Artabastos in Bithynia to discuss the forthcoming campaign. Artabastos attacked Constantine's men at Dorylaeum and routed Constantine's army, killing Bessa, one of Constantine's commanders and a vital member of Leo III's court. Although Constantine escaped, Artabastos proclaimed that he had been killed. Artabastos was the next most legitimate claimant to the throne after Constantine, since he was a close associate of Leo III, had a marriage tie to him, and, as had been seen in the case of Theodosius III, the Opsician troops had been kingmakers before. Artabastos won over to his side the Magister Theophanes the One-Eared, or Monotes, who Constantine had left in charge of the capital, as well as the strategos of Thrace, Nikiforos. Artabastos travelled to Constantinople and was crowned emperor by Patriarch Anastasius, officially making him emperor in opposition to Constantine. He would hold the throne from 741 to 743. Artabastos purged those imperial officials in the capital loyal to Constantine by blinding or maltreating them. Artabastos allowed icons to be restored, but did not condemn iconoclasm, and much like Leo, he did not engage on this matter on a theological level. Meanwhile, Constantine gained support from the Anatolikon and Freixikion strategia. Artabastos, however, had the support of most of the other strategia, such as Obsikion, Armeniacon, and Thrace. Constantine led the Anatolikon and Thraxikion armies in pursuit of Artabastos to Chrysopolis, but being unable to cross without ships, turned back and wintered in Amorium. Artabastos also crowned his son Nikiforos co-emperor, clearly demonstrating that he intended to replace Constantine. In 742, Artabastos led the Opsikion army into the Thraxikion strategia, raiding as he went. Constantine met his army and, at the Battle of Sardis, defeated Artabastos, who retreated back to Constantinople. Nikitas, the younger son of Artabastos, led the Armeniacon troops into Opsikion to maintain the pressure on Constantine. However, his army was defeated and suffered severe casualties in the Battle of Modrine. With the Empire in the grips of civil war, Nikiforos the Patriarch had this to say on these events. Patriarch Nikiforos I, Short History, Chapter 65 Under these circumstances, the Roman state was in extreme distress, inasmuch as the struggle for power among those aroused an internecine war among Christians. What terrible things are wont to happen in such conditions, so much so that nature is neglected and made to oppose herself, not to say any more, is indeed known to many from experience. This was especially true, as similar events had allowed the Arabs to be at the very gates of Constantinople only a few decades before. 
Fortunately, the Umayyad Caliphate was having troubles of its own. The rise of the Abbasids meant that the Muslims could not exploit this serious Roman civil war. In a joint assault, Constantine and the Strategos Sicinius of the Therixicion crossed the Sea of Marmara. Constantine from the Bosphorus and Sicinius from the Hellespont, they laid siege to Constantinople. Artabasdos, now trapped, sent emissaries to the Caliphate asking for help, but they refused. He sent a fleet to gather supplies, but this fleet was captured near Abydos by the Kibaraeot navy for Constantine. Desperate, Artabasdos sallied out from Constantinople, but was defeated and suffered horrific casualties, including his chief backer, Theophanes Monotes, who was killed. Nikitas, Artabastos's son, tried to relieve his father and attacked the Kibaraeot fleet, which ended in failure. Nikitas then led his Armenia con troops to Chrysopolis to relieve the capital, but was defeated and captured at Nicomedia by Constantine. By the autumn of 743, the populace of Constantinople was starving, and so Artabastos allowed them to leave. It especially helped him, as it would preserve what few supplies he had left and maintain the siege for a bit longer. In November of that year, Constantine led a surprise assault on Constantinople and captured the city. Artabastos fled to Nicaea, but was captured on his way to Fort Puzain with the intention of continuing the war. Thus the civil war came to an end. Constantine blinded Artabastos and his two sons, and their closest allies once he paraded their captors around the Hippodrome. He confiscated the property of others that were involved but to a much lesser extent, and flogged them and then exiled them. After a public humiliation, Constantine allowed the Patriarch Anastasius to remain in his post. Artabastos was exiled to the monastery of Cora in Constantinople, where, at an uncertain date, he died. His insurrection was dangerous, as it exposed the empire to unnecessary danger from the Arabs. His war for the throne seems to have only been fueled by his opportunism and ambition in taking the throne, and though initially successful, his repeated defeats quickly cost him his support and his eyes. This was the biggest and certainly longest civil war since the war between Phocus and Heraclius over a century earlier. It also showed that the instability of the Twenty Years' Anarchy following the first deposition of Justinian II till the reign of Leo III had not entirely gone away. There was to be some good from this whole affair, as it prompted Constantine to reform the Strategia system of Constance II into its final form of the Theme system. I have been your host Daniel Maynard. Please be certain to like, subscribe and share this video, and this has been Eastern Roman History.